Are you ready for the ultimate Burgos, Bulgaria travel guide? Well, we've got something ready for you right here. So in this video on Burgos, Bulgaria, we're going to cover it comprehensively. We're going to give you the ultimate travel guide for how to explore Burgos, where to stay, what to eat, what to do. A little bit of background on my experience in Burgas. My wife was born there. Her mom was from there. Her dad's also Bulgarian. I've been going to Burgas and Bulgaria since 2016. This little guy is also half Bulgarian. My wife can speak the language to a degree, although don't tell her I told you that. We've also done videos on why it's the most underrated city in Europe, and we featured Hotel Bulgaria where we stayed this most recent time. Uh, in a video as well. We stayed at a few places around the city though, so we'll make sure to discuss all of those in the where to stay section of this video, so stay tuned. It's important to understand exactly where Burgos is situated though, right? Yeah. Did you like Burgos? Yeah. Yeah, you landed in Burgos? Yeah. So it's one thing about Burgos to think about is when you actually travel there, it's a bit difficult to get there unless you're taking like Wizz Air. You could take a bus from Sofia, we've done that. Um, or you can rent a car in Sofia, the, the main capital city, and get there that way. Um, so it is a bit challenging to get to, but it's completely worth it, right? A lot of people talk about Sunny Beach, um, especially in the UK. It's a very popular UK tourist destination. It can get a bit rowdy though uh, at times, so just keep that in mind. It's not the most family friendly place, I would say. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend staying there if you got little ones like this guy. I think you would have a much better experience staying in the actual city of Burgas, which is right in the middle of Burgas Bay, as shown here. Just north of Burgas Bay uh, and the main city of Burgas is Nesever, which is a historic town dates back to the Roman era. It's probably my favorite place in this whole entire region. Although the hotel options are pretty limited outside of the summer tourist high season, as are many of the shops in Nesebr, you're not gonna find much open. Um, we just went this past February and most of the shops and restaurants were closed. So keep that in mind if you are traveling. Um, it's a very summer tourist destination, um, but Nesebr is amazing. All the small shops, um, little tchotchkes like this stuff that we have on the wall. It's just a beautiful historic place you can't miss. Just south of Burgas Bay is Sasapal. This town also is really historic and has a great beachfront, um, good restaurants, bars, and keep in mind folks, the Bulgarian Leva is a very good conversion rate from the US dollar or the British pound or the Euro. Uh, so you can stretch your dollars uh, and euros and pounds a long way and you're really not sacrificing in quality at all. Uh, from the shopping, some of the best shoes I've ever purchased were from Bul Bulgaria. Uh, some of the best clothes, Theodore is one of my favorite Bulgarian brands. Uh, they have just incredible, incredible menswear and my wife loves shopping uh, and getting lost in the city streets in Burgas. Um, we're going to feature some of our favorite shopping destinations in this video. Burgos is an absolute gem on the Black Sea coast and we're so excited to bring you this ultimate travel guide that I hope will help answer some of your questions, give you some ideas and inspiration, and help guide you in your travels along the Black Sea coast. And by the way, it's Burgos, not Burgas, or any other form of pronunciation that I hear on a lot of YouTube videos. Alright, let's get started. The Bulgarian boy! The first place I would recommend is Hotel Bulgaria. Located in the city center of Burgas, it is the perfect jumping off point to access all of what Burgas has to offer. It's also a great year-round destination, so even if you're coming in the winter, because it's located in the middle of the city, it's a great place to stay. We did a full hotel and room tour in a separate video that's linked below in the description, so make sure to check that out for more. The next place I would recommend is the Grand Hotel and Spa Primoritz. We've stayed here multiple times on previous trips to Burgas. It is the best hotel in the city during the summer because the pool here and the quick access to the Burgas beachfront on the Black Sea are second to none. 
But with that said, these views of the Black Sea are great any time of year. The hotel also has some good restaurants and bars. And because it is located right along the path that goes along the Sea Garden, which is the big park in Burgas, it's perfectly feel, located. Here are some shots though now of its amazing pool during the summer. Finally, if you're looking for a more boutique experience also along the Black Sea, I recommend Villa Promenade. Let's talk about my favorite restaurant in Burgas, Zlatna Ribka. This is a very seafood forward place, which is perfect for a restaurant along the Black Sea. As you can see, they have a helpful English version of the menu for people like me. The menu here is extensive with great Bulgarian wines to pair with your meal. They have other wine options too, but I highly recommend the Bulgarian octopus ones. Toscana. I had the Octopus Toscana for my main. It's easy to mess up octopus and make it dry and tough, but this was perfectly executed and juicy. I ordered a limited vintage of this Merlot to pair alongside it. I can't speak highly enough of the Bulgarian wines. You also must try Happy. It's a Bulgarian chain institution, but when I say chain, don't Happy. think like McDonald's. It has really quality food. This chicken soup in particular, delicious. The menu's very extensive as well. There are even British versions in London. I'd also recommend trying the Golden Anchor, which is very close to the Sea Garden, as you can see from this map. Really quality food with a nice ambiance near the sea. And at the top of this walking path, oh, there's Happy next door. This is actually the very top of the path that will lead you to all of the best food and shopping in Burgas. Etna was a nice, bright space, very open, and the food was classic Bulgarian. I had this goat liver soup. You have to have the satsas or uh, fried sprats as well. That's like the fish and chips of Bulgaria. But the goat liver soup that I had was unbelievable. I went in planning for a light lunch and ended up eating to my heart's content. Our son really loved the fish here. And also make sure to pair it with some Bulgarian beer and some rakia. There's that goat liver soup I was talking about. Rakia is kind of like a grappa, by the way, which you can enjoy before, during, or after a meal. Tea bar and kitchen was near Ethno in the middle of the city center. Also serving classic Bulgarian fare. I had a pork sausage with white beans that could even give the Florentines a run for their money. Sebastian really loved the interior, all of the brick and the wine bottles. Here's that sausage dish. Very satisfying lunch. And the Shopska Salata you have to have as well. Very classic Bulgarian dish. Here it is. Mlados was probably the most traditional of the Bulgarian restaurants we tried. It's a large banquet hall. Lots of parties, family gatherings are held here. Great menu. Lots of fresh river fish. But as always, I'd recommend trying the Shopska Salata. Get yourself some rakia. The red sauce is lutenitsa that is great for dipping. Some more of their classic fried fish that you just can't pass up. And here's an example of a freshwater river fish, lavrak, which I think I'm Ooh, saying right. Another place you have to try is Neptune, especially if you're looking for a more club or nightlife scene. It's also great during the summer. Great atmosphere and drinks here. Make sure to stop in at a bakery too, specifically for Bonitsa. There are multiple great options across the city and some you don't even need to go inside. You can just order your pastries or Bonitsa from a window. I love this nut stand as well. It's close to the Happy and Golden Anchor locations that we showcased earlier. Definitely check it out. The first place you definitely need to go is the Sea Garden. 
As a New Yorker, I would equate it to Central Park. It's like the Central Park of Burgas. But what it has that Central Park lacks is a view of the Black Sea. I mean, look at this stunning shot from the summer. You can walk out to the pier, enjoy the beach, or just walk along this promenade uh, that's inside the park. On a nice day, everyone congregates here, music's played, and people are just out enjoying a great time in the sun. One of our favorite activities in the city center, though, is definitely shopping. As I mentioned earlier, there are great deals to be had here, especially with the conversion rate, and you're not sacrificing in quality at all. Anna was one of our favorite kids' boutiques. There are plenty of others across the city as well. I highly recommend just walking around, going into each of the stores and checking out the merchandise. This was one of my wife's favorite stores right in the city center. The salespeople are generally very nice and accommodating. There are just many good shopping experiences to be had here. There are good men's stores here too, but if you're like me, sometimes it's nicer just to sit outside on a bench, which they have plenty of as well. There are great open air markets too, especially when there's nice weather. And how can you leave Bulgaria and Burgas without some of the classic Bulgarian rose fragrances and creams? So make sure to allocate plenty of time for great shopping. Then I recommend going on a day trip to Nesebr, which we mentioned earlier. It's my favorite city in the region. It's on this little fortified island, lots of boats, marine life great restaurants uh, especially during the summer as i said it's a little slower during the winter but the just look how clear this water is here it's just a gorgeous historic beautiful environment day trip number two should be to sasapol for the beaches while there aren't many great places to swim in the seber sasapol has it all you could go to sunny beach too as i mentioned but i think you're pretty good with just these two we did it we made the video Down. So in conclusion, I highly recommend going to Burgas if you're still contemplating whether or not you should go. It's definitely better in the summer with the beautiful weather along the Black Sea. But honestly, any time of year, it's really nice uh, to just walk the city streets and enjoy the culture, the great food, the atmosphere, and the history. So what's stopping you? Go. You might even find little princes like this guy. <laughs>